Introduction What does your bicycle mean to you, Eugenia? For some people, this would be a silly and fun question to answer. To others, this would be a serious question. And to a last group of individuals, well, this would be a tricky question with no right or wrong answers. I had trouble trying to answer it, because when you come from a South American country that has been damaged by politicians for centuries, and when you somehow forgot how to live joyfully, and you don't even know how to start chasing your dreams, then you also don't know what makes you feel happy and mindful. You see, I always thought that the reality I lived in in Maracaibo, my hometown, made it impossible for me to go on a bicycle and experience the diverse routes and streets my city has. Not only did I live in a dangerous town in Venezuela, but it also happened to be the hottest city on the planet. Well, perhaps not so much, but it is the hottest city in the country. It's normal to experience 40 degrees Celsius each day for at least 350 days a year. I'm not kidding, it is that hot. It even has the nickname of La Tierra del Sol Amada, which is roughly translated as the beloved land of the sun. So you get the idea. Thus, I didn't really think much about riding any bicycles at all. In this heat, I used to think, no way, I'll probably end up dying in the middle of the street because of a heat wave. I knew people who would ride their bikes all the time and I enjoyed their ways of being, their freedom, and how simple they made it look. But I thought it wasn't for me, at least not yet. But if this is the case, then how can I be riding a guide that is called How Expert Guide to Bike Touring, 101 Tips to Start, Learn, and Succeed in Bike Touring from A to Z? Something doesn't add up here. This is a case of you should never say never, and this is something I have learned very well over the last couple of years. I may even write another ebook about it. However, I need to tell you a short story first, so that you can see where I'm coming from and where I'm heading. In 2015, a very good friend decided to leave the country. He also left behind his old bike, which was the one his girlfriend started using. Then, a couple months later, more precisely in January 2016, his girlfriend decided to join him, and guess who she called to give her bicycle to as a present? That's right, me! All of a sudden I received a text message saying, Friends girlfriend, when are you coming to get your bicycle? Me, what are you talking about? What bike? FG, the one that belonged to us. We want you to have it. Me, I'm coming now. I will never forget that day and how I went back home feeling nervous, excited, and most importantly, happy. I finally felt like myself. It sounds crazy because how can an object define you so much? How can you let that piece of metal make you incredibly happy and joyful? And these were real feelings and my whole being changed. I was now going places on my bicycle. I had no excuse because I had everything I ever wanted and on top of it all, someone else had given me the most precious thing I never even asked for, freedom. But I wanted more though. The thing is, once you realize the power of your legs, your core and your mind, you become unstoppable. I had just graduated from university and I was looking into going to Colombia because it was the cheapest country I could afford to travel to as it's a neighbor country. I was planning on going in a paid and shared car until, until I met an Argentinian who was traveling to Colombia on his bicycle. Did he just say he left Argentina, crossed to Brazil, then rode to Venezuela and is now going to Colombia on his bike? What are the chances, I thought. Sounds like a good plan to me, but it also sounds like an impossible plan for me. How am I going on a bike tour if I haven't even ridden my bike for a year? I'm inexperienced. How am I going on a bike tour to a different country if my city is completely flat? I don't even have gears on my bicycle. How am I going on a bike tour if I don't have money? And above all, how am I going to explain all of this to my family? We should fast forward to a couple of months later and do you remember that short question at the beginning of this introduction? Well, it finally received a long answer. I went on my first bike tour throughout South America on the 17th of August, 2016, exactly six months after I received my first adult bike. What a life. I spent almost a year of my life traveling through the most beautiful places I had ever seen. Don't get me wrong, I had done my fair bit of traveling throughout Europe and the furthest I had been was Jordan in the Middle East, but I had never, not even in my wildest dreams, would have ever imagined traveling on a bicycle. I didn't think it was possible, or at least I didn't know it was possible for me. 
However, when there's a will, there's a way, and I plan to ride my way. So I ended up packing my bags and off I went. And going back to the question, what does your bicycle mean to you, Eugenia? My answer is this one. My bicycle means so much to me. It's my liberty, it's how I fly, it's all of my desires and my need of exploration. It's also the little knowledge I can hold and the passion that drives me. It's my love for the world and the delirium of being part of it. But it's also how I act and how I become one with what surrounds me. It's my journey, it's our journey, it's my bicycle. It's my world and my life. It's how I party and how I celebrate. It's my history book and the mountains, the villages, the sea, the skies I see. It's the Caribbean that allowed me to explore it. It's the trip and the holiday. It's my whole universe. It may sound crazy, but I feel that riding a bike is what I was born for and what I should do. And now the two became three, we also feel it's what our kid was born for. So a new bike tour is coming, this time with a toddler. So are you ready to explore this guide with me? Here's the How Expert Guide to Bike Touring, 101 tips to start, learn, and succeed in bike touring from A to Z. I hope you enjoy reading it as much as I enjoyed living it and writing it.